Further developments on the Tory MP David Warburton. Leo. Yeah, this is a bit more light-hearted. So, um, you know, good old-fashioned... Uh, political uh, sex and drug scandal. So um, David Warburton has been suspended as a Tory MP uh, over allegations that um, he, he's taken cocaine and um, also groped uh, a woman, climbed naked into a woman's bed and groped her. And there's actually a photograph of him with, um, with lines of what appeared to be cocaine uh, racked out. So, you know, it seems... Was it, was it cocaine or was it Sherbet Dibdab, the popular 80s confectionery? Well, there was a, there was a, tw a tweet going around that said, uh, that, that claimed to be, it was, it was fake, but it was very convincing. Uh, an excuse from him saying it was actually his dandruff and he, he collects it <laughs> uh, in a baking That's tray. Brilliant. And uh, like racks it into line. So a lot of people were, were taking it. Or was it that. talcum powder? Perhaps he's got itchy toes. But it was on a baking tray, so it's just Ajax. It's the only way to really get down and scrub it. Because if you bake in a baking tray too often, there was always that little bit of stickiness. The residue. Which is why I wouldn't put my... So what you're saying is basically Parliament's answer to Mary Berry, and that's actually what's happened. There's nothing to see here. You tried to do, you tried to do a banana bread, it went horribly wrong. Are you claiming that Mary Berry once inappropriately tried to grab someone? Good luck with that, well, Corkay. The only thing she grabs is uh, unbleached flour, so... <laughs> and that's, that's a statement from her lawyers. <laughs> uh, look, it's, it's, I mean, we, we can joke, of course, but actually this would be very, very damning if, if, if you know, if it comes to light that, that this public figure mm. has taken drugs, then well, there'll photo. be a case, case to answer. Yeah. I mean, there's a, there's a, well, there's I, a I photograph. Guess, I mean, he'll, he might offer... <laughs> so, he might offer... He might, do you know what he's going to do? He'll, he'll call <laughs> Prince Andrew and goes, right, dude, how do I get out of this bed? <laughs> and Prince Andrew's like, you've got to go on news night yeah, for, yeah. for me. Yeah. Emily Maitlis. Well, no, he's actually... He's checked himself into uh, a psychiatric hospital now. Uh, he's suffering from shock and stress. Yeah, aren't we uh, all? I mean, well, cocaine come downs are bad enough without having it plastered all over the, the newspapers. Um, and his, his are wife, they indeed, Leo? Is, um, <laughs> is, uh, and I know the strongest thing you take is iron brew. So. <laughs> well, it is made from girders. You can't get any stronger than that. Absolutely right. Yeah, well, look, a tough story. Um, we do wish him well. Clearly, addiction is a serious matter. Well, I don't know um, if he's addicted. And, uh, and, uh, or indeed, that's, that's any, 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 any narcotic relationship is, uh, is ill-advised, uh, I would say. And, um, and uh, I hope he's able to make a recovery. Uh, but an interesting story and a headache for not just him, uh, but uh, Boris Johnson as well.